Hello everyone. Welcome to Economics Academy. So today we are going to discuss the first cutoff list for MA Economics that was released by JNU. So there are two different departments of, for pursuing MA Economics in JNU. One is Ecom. This is your general economics which is part of social sciences, a school of social sciences and we popularly call it as CESP, Center for Economic Studies and Planning. So, in this, the UR cutoff marks, the cutoff marks that you see over here, this is in percentage terms. So, what JNU does is that, let's say if someone is scores 240 out of 300, so JNU converts this into percentage. So, this is roughly your 80%. So, what you find over here is percentage terms, okay, and the first is the rank. So, we will discuss it separately. So, the first cutoff that is for unreserved category, it is 84%. So, if you want to calculate your marks, like if you convert into marks, then how much marks you should have a score to get into JNU. So, all you have to do is that 84 into 3. So, this roughly converts to 252 marks. Okay, so anyone who is scored 252 marks will would have got admission in JNU. Now, one thing to uh, which is very important to remember is that whenever JNU releases the cutoff marks, so they include the deprivation point. Like all female candidate gets 5 percentage deprivation point. So, someone who is scores, let's say, only 80 percent, so you will have to add 5 percent. So, the final marks will be 85 percent. And this deprivation point makes a huge difference for your JNU admission. So, the second category is your scheduled caste category. So, scheduled caste category is 59.66. So, this is roughly one mark less than your 60%. So, 60% into 3, 180. So, this is your 179 mark. Scheduled drive 60.66. So, this is two marks more than your 60%. So, this converts to 182 marks. Then PWD candidate, PWD candidate is uh, the last cutoff marks is 57.66. So, uh, you can say that this is roughly around 7 marks less than your 60%, so 173. So, all you need to do is that whatever this, this is the marks of the last candidate who got admission or you can say the percentage marks of the last candidate. So, all you need to do is multiply by 3, then you will get the final marks. OBC is 74.33. So, 74.33 means your 200 C. Uh, 74 into 3, this is 222 uh, plus 1 marks. Okay. So, 223 marks. Now, if you look at EWS category. So, EWS category marks is 82.667. So, 82.667 is roughly your 248 marks, 248 marks, okay, 246 is 82%, a 0.66 is equivalent to 2 marks for 248 marks. So, these are the different marks which have been scored by the last candidate who got admission with their respective category. Now, we will be separately discussing uh, regarding the scores of uh, those students who got admission in EILM, that is your International Trade and Development. And apart from that, what we have also planned is that we are going to compare the marks of, let's say, the score which on which the admission was given last year and what has been the change when we look at the percentage marks of the cutoff of the last candidate for 2024. So, this will give you us a hint of perspective like what were the changes and we are also going to, and to understand all of these things, it is very important to look at the question paper. So, what we are also planning is that we, we are going to compare the question paper, topic wise question paper uh, in terms of difficulty level, in terms of coverage, in terms of weightage. So, you can get a glimpse of how the pattern is changing and this is very important for all those candidates who are going to apply next year. So, if you are preparing for CVT MA Economics for 2025, so you need to give us a call on 844-887-8849 and uh, we provide detailed study material, question bank, test series and what we have also done is that we have 
prepared topic wise question bank for each topic we have prepared question bank so you can because objective type examination you need to practice a lot many number of questions and so we have planned like for consumer theory there will be question for uh, macroeconomics different topic there will be questions so that you can practice questions and the classes will be provided separately so that because many of the students who give us a call regarding preparation what they do is that they share about their own preparation level and one thing that we have found out is that since most of you are preparing or appearing in the subjective examination throughout your graduation and this is objective type so you need to change the way in which you need to prepare for the CUT examination Second thing that we uh, usually find is that most of the students they forget what they have studied so they need to revise everything and they have to become competitive so uh, this is the focus of our uh, classes and everything so give us a call and uh, text us or whatsapp us on this number and we will share all the details. If you need any uh, counseling regarding admission in 2024 if you have appeared in CVT and you are not going to get admission in top universities due to your low CVT uh, score so we will help you find out of those universities central universities where you can get admission so for that also you can give us a call on this number and uh, anything apart from this if you need any kind of question if you have any question if you have any query give us a call and we will be sending all the details Hopefully you have liked this video and uh, if you are not subscribed to this channel then please subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you can get all the regular updates about your preparation or admission in the top universities. So thank you and we wish you all the very best.